various resources which is available on different platforms like Tata Smart, Tuttlebot, uh, how to clone it and how to create a workspace, basic Linux command, and data mapping uh, after launch file, how to launch a file from that cloned one, this types of um, some knowledge we got. We are going to enter into the URI format, unified robot descript description format. This is a robot standard one. Using this, uh, we are going to do our uh, robot simulation. Uh, this is my GitHub account. I'm going to clone my data robot to my workspace. So first of all, I'm going to create a workspace uh, in using the basic Linux command. It's already on our previous videos, so we can look at that. Let's put mkdir for creating a directory and give a name. After creating a directory, we are going to create a source file, which is known as an SRC. It's a source file after creating using the mkdir command line. We are going to do CDSRC, it will be go to directory, which directory we want, so it will be shown for that to catkin in the workspace. To get to where we are going to make catkin make it will be make a three file build in uh, build a table and SOC. Build have an uh, essential uh, libraries and uh, they will also have essential libraries inside the files. After cloning, we are going to after creating workspace, we are going to clone our GitHub account, my robot get clone that link i need to paste it after enter we need to make catkin make to making catkin make uh, it will be show what are the files available on that uh, downloaded resources installed resources from my github now we will launch our visible yeah, yeah. now our uh, robot is in a uh, visible environment now we need to open another one on terminal for looking what are the topics are running in our uh, environment after this we are going to add a plugin plugin is nothing but we need to add in our audio format as you dot launch it will be give the movement of the robot uh, first of all we know about a uh, differential drive which robot having two wheels but uh, four wheel drives you got a skip steering it's a plugin for and four wheel drive this is also in my github I will uh, give that link in my description. Uh, after launching the uh, visualization software, that uh, that axis orientation symbols are on uh, TF, which is known as a coordination frame transformation data. For on uh, various link and joints are coordinated by the transformation data. It's a library which will be show the transformation. What are the links? What are the joints available on the robot? See the that is a script steering blinking. We need to clone that one into our workspace. Uh, now we are going to clone it in our workspace. After cloning, we need to go to that file and copy that to uh, copy that uh, plugins to our visible uh, launch, which is located in UODF. We need to copy that whole plugins. First of all, we need to clone that one into our workspace. Go to terminal and clone that one. After cloning, we need to open our uh, shooter. Okay, now we are going to get a switch steering directory. Now we need to open our sublime editor and uh, copy that whole plugins which is available on our directory. To copy that one, we need to paste it on our audio folder to get a gazebo launch file in our bottom of that all the links out are initial available on the top robot now we are going into the directory script out after that we need to open the view of see that mk mr amr dot gazebo it's a launch file which is kind of all the gazebo and the always launch files we launch and gazebo will launch a gazebo always that mish file have a visualization and then what are the visualization we need to do that have in, uh, have in that mish file material dot sacro have in color coordinates so what are the colors we need to give to that robot it will be on material dot sacro after opening our sublime video editor oh, sorry Subline editor, we need to open our directory. 
the audio of that one. KMR.bzb. You need to enter that one and paste it. Okay. Now we have pasted the plugin. In this plugin is used for script steering, which is a four drive, four wheel drive. After paste this one, see that that revolved one, revolved two, that are the joints uh, which is available on that sacro. Sacro files have an inertia, collision, and uh, various properties which is in uh, sacro. And we need to see that one. Go to sacro file and uh, search it. What are joints or the links? First of all, we need to understand that uh, robot movement. In base frame only, that wheel setup will be available. But that wheel will be mobile, mobile joint or uh, revolved. But later is fixed in one place. But wheel is mobile. So we, once you design and you add your file, you should do uh, wheels are in revolved and uh, LIDARs, camera, EMI sensors are rigid. Okay. See the joints are in revolved for this is a reference point we need to get from sacro to that uh, visible dot launch. We need to paste it that one. LIDAR is in rigid one and uh, wheels are in mobile joints. First of all, we need to understand that one. The CMD lesson topic which will be subscribed to uh, uh, teleoperation mode base link. Uh, we need to change first base frame to base link. Just have an inertia movement 3 crash 3 matrix. All the things available on sacro fields, what are robots, collision, joints, inertia in a 3 crash 3 matrix, but all are available on for uh, begin. We can give in uh, top value, hold on topic name. Now we are going to launch our reboot or launch. We launched after that. We have seen uh, our host topic list. It will be show what are topics running on our visible environment. It's showing now uh, CMD well, which is known as uh, command velocity. It will be controlled the base frame of the robot or base link of the robot. Using command velocity, we are creating a odometry data. Using that odometry data, we can create uh, an autonomous robot. How it's possible? In odometry data in change any changes in environment, the odometry data will be also changed. Using that, we are uh, robot will be analysis that uh, some obstacle is near to the robot. Now we are going to launch some visualization. Now we are going to launch our visualization. After launching, we put the ROS top echo CMD well. It will be showcased on a teleoperation mode that X, Y, and a Z coordination of moving of the robot in an environment. So well, uh, the OMD systems provides some uh, local, locally accurate estimation of the robot, force estimation and um, based on <coughs> based on its motion. Odometry information get from that uh, EMI radars, uh, wheel and rollers. Uh, that all. Now we getting that uh, odometry data from wheels. Okay. Uh, uh, now we talk about the TF. Okay. Mm, now, okay. Now we are going to do that uh, teleoperation mode using or uh, launch teleoptistic keyboard. After launching that, we are going to do virtual joystick mode. Now. Some topic which I'll see here. Teleoperation mode subscript to CMD well. CMD well subscript to Visible uh, subscript to ROS topic list. Now we are open that uh, virtual joystick mode. Using virtual joystick, we are going to control our robot, virtual robot in virtual joystick now. CMD well topic is subscript to our teleoperative keyboard. Okay, that node is subscript to the topic of CMD well. See here the linear angular axis of x and y z coordinate will be reflected in the CMD topic by using the ROS echo CMD well list. It will be showcase the changes in angle linear and the angular velocity movement of the robot. It's an TF. It's an uh, TF is stands for transformation library in ROS. Okay, it will perform and uh, it will perform the computation for a transformation between the frames and it allows to find the find the pose of any object or any frames using the transformation. The robot uh, collection of frames attached in different different joints. Okay. The in a TF transformation there are two libraries listener and a publisher. It's in broadcaster and the listener and the TF and cache all the data shares from all in the environment and publisher is transformed between coordination frame 
ओके एंड डिसीजन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ऑडियोमेट्री व्हाट इज डी ऑडियोमेट्री इज इट्स सोर्स गेट फ्रॉम दैट लेडर्स एंड एनकोडर्स एंड अदर यूज इज एन ऑडियोमेट्री डाटा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ टी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज नोन एज टी इट इज गेट फ्रॉम वन ऑडियोमेट्री ओनली और सेंसर्स बट टी एफ इज ट्रांसफॉर ट्रांसफॉर इन लाइब्रेरी इन लॉस इट परफॉर्म द कंप्यूटेशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बिटवीन द कोऑर्डिनेशन फ्रेम बेसिकली इन रोबोट इन मोबाइल रोबोट स्पेशली वी हैव एन व्हील्स एंड लेडर्स व्हील्स इज मोबाइल लेडर्स रिजिट सो वी नीड टू नो रोबोट नीड टू नो वेयर इट्स सेल्फ व्हील्स वेयर इट्स लेडर in fixer okay so that only uh, the tf is uh, mandatory for uh, you take the example of a human body okay the uh, links and joints uh, hand for example of hand we have joined this coordination frame we know this is hand this is our hand frame which have a joint and link so robot need to know which is where is its wheel and where its uh, ladder is mounted so main thing is for this on this purpose is a transformation see the we are going to see what are the topics is now running under tf data also we have a tf3 also we are going to see now so, <coughs> we are going to close all the things what are running on rqd see the base frame is subscript to odometry the base base link is uh, joined with four wheels and ladders isn't a transformation basically you see the base frame is attached to wheel uh, four wheel and ladder now robot no where its links where its wheels where its joints are coordinate in that frame so the tf is in main library for ross especially for finding the coordination frame of the robot